Hello, Silicon gang. I wanted to explain basically um, how I have everything set up and how people are going to be uh, putting content on our Silicon gang website here. Um, first, we're going to have, um, at least right now, uh, a Roselio uh, sync uh, of the folder going on. And now let me explain to you the whole structure of everything here. So when you get invited to the sync and then you got the whole folder here going on, you're going to have this. And in these uh, folders, where we got the readme file I have, we have the contacts, which I'm not going to open up right now. That's just uh, emails that I've collected from people who are interested. Um, give an example of the my blog, uh, if you needed that, you know, for reference to to see how to do things, and I think it's kind of helpful to have. You got the image assets, which right now just have um, the fav icon uh, in a Photoshop, um, and then you have the actual blog itself. And there's the Hugo. You see, here's two batch files: uh, one to build, which would go here, and one to make a live server. So. I'm going to build it first, and you don't need to do this. I'm just doing this to show. So now that the server is running, I could click refresh here, and this is just what we have so far with some little filler stuff. So let's just click on the readme that I put here. So here's what you do. You edit your post in markdown formatting. Okay. You save your uh, file in the content posts okay content posts uh, i have to edit that <laughs> so let's do that right now so you got content posts and then author name so let's open this up in here in source code mode because i like that so let me just uh, change this real quick here and watch this Click save, and because it's doing live updating, there's the change. And you can see that live. If you're working on an article and you want to make sure the formatting is good, then you'll see change detected, rebuilding site. Um, I'm guessing just for now, um, probably the best thing to do would be um, either tell us you're working on something, so we're not working on it at the same time, or make a copy of um, the Roselio sync uh, folder uh, and put it someplace else so no weird syncing things go on while you're working. But anyway, okay, so you put the formatting for the date and the title, and that's that. That's called the front matter in Hugo. You see, I have it here. I like to put spaces in between things. I'm weird. Um, and that's what you're supposed to do there. Um, if you have any like JavaScript stuff, um, like in my, where am I at here? Like on my blog here, let's go to Rocket Cool. So here, like these little graphs, those are done with, let me go back, let's go to the example. That's why I put it there. They are done with embedded JavaScript, kind of. So I have all of these here, our HTML files with just JavaScript in it, really, um, that I modified a little bit. So let's go to this post, and this is the rocket cool. Does it start with R? Did I, did I actually do that? The. Of course I did. It's the. So there's the rocket cool copper IHS. Uh, yeah, let's just do it in Notepad++. So let's move down. So yeah, I just have this going on here. I centered it. I, I Yeah, this is only HTML center. You know, sue me. Who cares? And then I have an iframe that I made 100% width, 500 pixels high, no border, blah, blah, blah. And I called it high charts iframe and... So that's embedded from there. Okay, no, that's a bad example. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, basically that that's that's what you do if you if you have stuff, just embed it into uh, your articles uh, business there. So let's go back. And I also I gave an example of you know this is how an article should look when you submit it. Um, and uh, how did how did I get the Navjack twenty seven you know byline on here? And that was it was kind of complicated to figure out. I basically took some code snippets from here and there, um, googling, and. Uh, basically what I came up with was, let's see, we have um, data authors and we have these JSON files going on here. Um, and they're formatted like this. You could put your bio in here. You could put your Twitter. Uh, that kind of works, kind of doesn't work with this theme. But I mean, I'll show you what that does. So when you click on our crew, it, I just made it a link. But that's easy. I mean, this is going to revise and look better, look more professional. You know, put a picture next to me and all that kind of crap. Um, and I also said don't use spaces or punctuation in almost anything because uh, I just don't want to have to deal with weird edge cases where like a space is fucking up something or, you know, there's a punctuation in a URL that works locally but doesn't work online. Okay, and the next thing we got here is um, embedding images. Um, and I thought this needed to be totally spelled out because uh, it's not that obvious initially. So let's go back to the Silicon Gang. So when you want to put a image in your article, this is the code that you'll use here. And you notice that I have multiple, you know, uh, go back a directories going on here. And that's because, um, let's see, let's uh, blah. So right here. So um, basically every article is here. So it's article file name, go back a directory, your author name, go back a directory posts. So we just go back three to get back to the root and images are in images author name. So we have Images navjack27 high dot j uh, png, and then that that's where you're going to be putting all of your images, because images go in static images author name high dot png. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to just show this so uh, it doesn't seem so foreign to everybody. Um, I'm going to be adding more things as we need it. Like if we want comments, that's going to be relatively easy to add. And we're not going to have to store anything on our end to do it. I want to make it so nothing is stored on our end to do. Because, I don't know, I, I like the fact that, our, well, right now, just with two articles and you know, a couple images, not really. But our, you know, website's only like two and a half megabytes. Um, like my website here, if we go here, my whole blog, go back, this whole thing is, uh, where did I put that? Um, yeah, it's five megabytes. And I have, you know, images in a couple articles. You know, a couple images there. I think the most ones are in my personal ones. Like I have all these images and that's because I used WebP and PNG and uh, I just went crazy and making sure everything was fucking optimized. Um, but we're all going to be able to basically do my website um, as a group. And that's the best way I could uh, figure it out was Resilio Sync. And um, yeah, being as minimal as possible with everything. Uh, I hope this clarified something. Uh, I'll see you guys on Twitter.